and I love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a marriage. Real Tech has taken over virtual reality as we know. The player base far exceeds any other game available on virtual reality platforms and has found major success. But with all this success comes much, much more. Introducing Gorilla Tag Ghosts. There's many different kinds of ghosts in Gorilla Tag, but I'd like to talk about one in specific. Recently, Gorilla Tag Ghosts have been evolving. Based off of recent sightings and captured footage, the physical forms of these ghosts have mutated, such as having extra arms, extra heads, being bigger in size, and smaller in size as well. But it doesn't stop there. Everyone who's played Gorilla Tag knows about one of the most famous ghosts, Daisy 09. Well, there's one big, big problem. As I mentioned earlier, these ghosts have been evolving, right? Well, that's a thing. Introducing Daisy 90, an extra set of arms and a slight increase in size, making Daisy 90 1.5 times bigger than the average player model. That's not the only thing that makes Daisy 90 a much more dangerous version of Daisy 09. Daisy 90's abilities far exceed those of Daisy 09's, making Daisy 90 one of the most powerful and dangerous ghosts to ever exist. A story that was sent to me explained that three players were messing around looking for Daisy 09 when they accidentally entered in the room code wrong. Instead, they switched around the numbers, entering in room code Daisy 90. This is where the story begins. One day, three friends hopped into Gorilla Tag and wanted to do some ghost hunting. The first code they wanted to check was Daisy 09, but got it mixed up, accidentally typing in Daisy 90 instead. This is where the creation of one of Gorilla Tag's most dangerous ghosts came to life. Upon entering the code, the three friends searched and searched and searched every map but didn't find anything. They were going back to Stump to join another code when a familiar yet strange song started playing. This is where the real dangers of Daisy and I know come in. The three friends started running as fast as they could, entering in a random code into the computer at an attempt to escape Daisy and I know. After joining a different code, they sat by the computer and stumped talking about what they had just witnessed. Being in a completely different room code means they're safe, right? Wrong. The three friends messed around, going into different maps until they stumbled upon one of Grill Tech's newest maps, Metropolis. While running around playing a game of tag in the new map, they began to feel off, as if someone or something was watching them nearby. Sitting there all together by the water, they heard sounds coming from above them. They looked up in shock to see Daisy 90 on top of the tallest building in the map. They ran back to Stump and immediately typed in another new code, but little did they know it wouldn't change a thing. Since the three friends had encountered Daisy and I know, she had gained control over them in a way they couldn't comprehend. No matter where they went, when they decided to get on Gorilla Tag, or what they wanted to do, Daisy and I know will be there watching every single thing they do. The scary part is, Daisy and I know hasn't even unleashed her true potential among the three of them. They decided to get off the game after what happened. The next morning, once again, getting on Gorilla Tag, completely forgetting what had happened the previous day. They went into their main code they always meet up in and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Just normal Gorilla Tag with Doug the Bug flying around. Minutes after joining the room code, the three friends got a message at the same time. Upon clicking on the message, the name of the person was blank with a black profile picture. The message was in Morse code which only one of the friends knew about. They translated the message and what happened next haunted them. It was a song that played when they first encountered Daisy 90. They closed the Oculus menu and looked around everywhere, seeing if Daisy 90 had found them once again when their heads had shut off unexpectedly. All three of the friends messaged each other asking if their headsets had also shut off randomly as well. When they confirmed their suspicions, they knew what they were dealing with was far greater than any grill tag ghost currently in game. Two weeks later, they turned their headsets back on and wanted to face Daisy 90 head on. Immediately after loading up Grill Tag, they joined code Daisy 90 to go settle things once and for all. After leaving Stump, there she was, looking at the three friends. They tried talking to Daisy 90 but had gotten no response. One of the friends started provoking her in hope that would bring out a response, but instead it sent Daisy 90 into a rage. 
She grew larger than ever before, raising her hand at the three friends and smashed down onto them. Their headsets immediately shut off and wouldn't turn back on. After days of trying, nothing was happening. Just a black screen. No one knows the true capabilities of Daisy and I know. But after this, it's expected she is far more powerful than what we know currently. If you encounter Daisy and I know, do not provoke her, do not panic, just shut your headset off and hope she didn't see you. This advice has been sent out to all Gorilla Tag players by the three friends themselves. For those ghost hunters out there, Daisy 90 is the final boss of ghost hunting. When searching for Daisy 90, here's a list of recommendations given by the three friends and others who have also come into contact with Daisy 90. First things first, awareness. When searching for Daisy 90, you must be aware of your surroundings as Daisy 90 can teleport to any desired location as well as having the ability to teleport you anywhere. So it's always important to know where Daisy 90 is at at all times if you come to contact. Second, know when to leave. Daisy Nino is not like the other ghost. She will gain control and follow you wherever and whenever she places into every code you go into. So if you feel things are going too far, leave immediately. Third, be cautious. Daisy Nino is incredibly powerful. She has abilities not even documented yet since she has just recently been born into Grill Tag. Last but not least, never go alone. When hunting for Daisy and I know it's extremely important to have a group with you. To all my fellow Grill Tag players out there, spread this message and stay safe. Daisy and I know sightings have been increasing rapidly and many of these players have no idea whatsoever about the capabilities of Daisy and I know. And before I finish this off, here's captured footage of Daisy and I know's message. I am Daisy 90, Daisy 09's descendant. No, I am not Daisy 09. I am simply a distant relative. For those that tried to hunt me down, just leave me be. I'd like to live my life in Gorilla Tag in peace. If you decide to look for me anyway, I beg you hear my warning. Bring it on ghost hunters. I'm not like any of the ghosts you've seen before. In fact, I don't think I should be compared to those guys. Sure, they may be powerful, but I transcend beyond multiple of the ghosts you've seen combined. Good luck, ghost hunters. <laughs>